<laughs> sorry i didn't want to go into a rant about this but you have a business being served to you on a platter and you still have to think about it why hey guys my name is paul with sunset royalty and if this is your first time here please subscribe so you don't miss any of our next videos so what are we talking about for those of you who don't know amazon is offering its employees up to ten thousand dollars to start their own delivery business and people have questions about it do you want to start a business or not this is a business who's this is a business that's being served to you on a platter and you still have to think about it based on on what the naysayers are saying oh, amazon amazon is evil I've, I've been hearing the same thing over and over about uber and leaf and you know what i can tell you at least three guys that i know who's consistently pulling 100 120. meanwhile you're sitting on the sideline talking about oh they're evil they're not they're not paying enough guess what things are changing things are not the same Amazon is here to stay. Uber is here to stay. So does Leaf. You know, is it that you get with it or you get left behind? That's just the way it is. Stop listening to the naysayers. Do it for yourself. Do it for your family. Do it to prove to yourself that you can do it. Do it to make your life better. You know, it's always going to be people complaining. Don't worry about it. If that's what you want, you want it for you. Don't do it for anybody else. Do it for you. Let me tell you how over 90% of small business get funded. One, you have some money saved, you go for it. Two, you go to your family and borrow money. Three, you go to a shock, which means they probably get to give some equity on your company, more likely 50 or more, you get some money to get started. Notice I didn't say a bank, because no bank will give you money to start a new business that has not been proven. Yet, as a small business owner, let me tell you, after you get funded, you know what the hardest part is? Is get customers to come to your business. First, the first thing you have to do is to get customers. Without customers, your business die. But now you have Amazon giving you, not only they're giving you $10,000 to get, to get your business started. Number two, the business is already there. They're giving you the business. You, you don't have to go anywhere to look for the business. It, the business is there. $10,000 to start your business. And on top of that, they're paying three months. And on top of that, they're paying three months. They're paying you three months salary. So what, what is there to think about? This is an opportunity that's been given to you to start your own business. I, I, don't, I don't understand what people are fussing about this case. Listen, everything that you do in life, you have pros and cons. In this case, in my opinion, the pros outweigh the cons is a business being given to you like somebody's literally handing you a business with the money to start it with the three months pay and with the clientele you already have the clientele you don't have to go look for the clientele oh my god and if you do it doesn't work out so what i can promise you the lesson that you will learn is priceless you can, i didn't want this to be a rent but hey i'm passionate about these kind of things Thank you again for watching guys. Please subscribe so you don't miss any of our next videos. Peace.